Wagner mercenary group leader Yevgeny Prigozhin has purportedly fled to Belarus following his abandoned mutiny. Belarus and Poland share a 400-kilometer border. The chaos in Russia is making Warsaw nervous. We don't know, and no one in the world knows, what were the real reasons behind the events. European Union foreign policy chief Josep Borrell said the mutiny revealed weakness in the leadership of Russian President Vladimir Putin. The monster that Putin created with the banner, the monster is biting him now. The monster is acting against his creator. The political system is in showing the fragilities and the military power is, being, is cracking. British Foreign Secretary James Cleverly noted that Prigozhin had questioned Putin's justification for the invasion of Ukraine. The Russian government's lies have been exposed by one of President Putin's own henchmen. NATO Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg echoed that view. And yet another demonstration of the big strategic mistake uh, that President Putin made uh, with his legal uh, annexation uh, or his legal annexation of Crimea and the war against uh, Ukraine. Can Ukraine take advantage of the turmoil in Russia? Certainly this begins to open some doors of opportunity, but we don't go rushing headlong through them. We take them as they are applicable to the plan that uh, Ukraine has already set out. Meanwhile, Moscow's ally China described the attempted mutiny as a Russian internal affair. China supports Russia in maintaining national stability and achieving development and prosperity. European Union member states agreed Monday to boost a special fund used to finance military aid for Ukraine by $3.8 billion, raising its ceiling to over $13 billion. EU leaders are due to meet later this week to discuss further support for Ukraine. Henry Ridgewell for VOA News, London.